sat on his old rickety porch, his eyes squinting against the warm rays of the setting sun. He had weathered many seasons in the mountains, a place where time seemed to move a little slower. His gnarled hands, calloused from the years of hard work, rested on his knees as he prepared to share his secret to a meaningful life. You see, life up here in these mountains ain't like it is down in big fancy cities, he began his voice carrying a gentle drawl the Appalachian dialect. We got our own way of doing things, a rhythm that's in tune with the land and the folks around here. He paused, gazing out the rolling hills that stretched as far as the eyes could see. The mountains stood tall and proud, their peaks disappearing in the clouds. The old man took a deep breath, as if drawing strength from the very soil beneath his feet. Life is about simplicity, my friend, he continued. We don't need much to be content. The land provides for us, and we in turn take care of it. We work the fields, tend our gardens. We harvest what we need. It's a dance, a harmony with nature. He leaned forward, his eyes sparkling with a hidden wisdom. But the true secret to life here is community. We mountain folk, we look out for each other. We lend a helping hand when times get rough. We gather around the fire on cool nights, sharing stories and laughter. We celebrate births and mourn losses together. It's a bond that runs deep. The old man's gaze shifted in the distance, a smile playing on his lips. And we hold on to our traditions, our music, our folk tales, and our old ways. It keeps us connected to our roots, he said, to our ancestors who once walked these very paths, and we pass them down from generation to generation, just like a precious gift. He sighed, a mix of contentment and longing. Life here ain't always easy, my friend. We face hardships just like everywhere else. But we find strength in the Lord, our land, and our kin, and in the simplicity of our lives. We take the time to appreciate the little things, like the sound of the wind rustling through the trees, or the smell of a fresh-baked apple pie. The old man leaned back, his gaze fixed on the fading sun. Some folks say, we're stuck in the past, but I reckon there's a certain magic to it all. We understand the value of slow moving. We know that happiness ain't these fancy cars or these big old houses. It's in the smiles of a loved one or the taste of homemade cornbread and the feeling of belonging to something greater than ourself. As darkness settled over the mountains, the old man's words lingered in the air. His secret to life in the mountains was a simple and yet profound. It was about finding joy in the everyday, cherishing the land and the community, and holding on to the traditions that shaped their identity. And as he sat there, surrounded by the timeless beauty of the mountains, the old man knew that his secret was a treasure worth sharing a way of life that would endure for generations to come. The old man's wife, a weathered woman with a twinkle in her eye, joined him on the porch. Her hands, too, bore the marks of a life well lived. She settled in a rocking chair, her voice carrying a soft cadence of the Appalachian talk. You know my husband here, He's always been a provider, she said, her voice filled with admiration. Back in them days, when we were youngins, he'd venture deep in them woods, armed with nothing but his rifle and his wits. 
and he'd come back with a bounty full of furs, feeding our family and trading the rest for what we needed. Her eyes sparkled with fond memories. Them furs, they kept us warm through many a harsh winter. My husband, he knew them mountains like the back of his hand. And he'd track them critters, follow their trails, and bring them home and turn them into blankets and coats. He made sure we had enough to get by, even when times were tough. She reached out, placing a weathered hand on her husband's knee. And it wasn't just the furs, mind you. He worked the land, tending to the crops, raising our livestock. We had chickens, cows, and pigs, all thanks to his hard work. He'd plow the fields, plant the seeds, and nurture them till they grew into a bountiful harvest. The old woman glanced out in the fields, a hint of nostalgia in her eyes. We'd gather around the table, our bellies full of food we grew ourselves. There was something magical about eating a meal that came straight from your own hands. It was a taste of self-sufficiency, a reminder that we could provide for ourselves and our family. She turned her attention back to her husband, a smile tugging at the corners of her lips. He's always been a pillar of strength. My husband, he taught our children the value of hard work, the importance of taking care of your own, and he showed them how to respect the land and give back what we took. The old man's eyes glistened with pride as he listened to his wife's words. They had built a life together, a life rooted in the mountains and nurtured by their love for each other in the land. As the night settled over the mountains, the old couple sat side by side, rocking gently on their porch. There was a story of resilience, of finding sustenance and comfort in the rugged beauty of the mountains. They had weathered the seasons together, embodying the spirit of the mountain way of life, and their legacy would forever be etched in the fabric of those ancient hills.